for having me with you. That's the key question. I think the United States uh, is expecting or is hoping that there will be a way to establish rapport between Presidents Erdogan and Biden. Um, I don't think the U.S. is anticipating any big breakthroughs, uh, but uh, instead uh, the U.S. wants to find a way to have a predictable relationship with Turkey, as has been the catchphrase uh, that Biden has been, been using, and, and Blinken as well, uh, predictable and stable relationship uh, that will then allow Turkey and the U.S. to focus on the big issues where they have common interests, which are helping Ukraine protect itself and deter Russia in the Black Sea region, um, in the South Caucasus, uh, working together with Turkey or benefiting from Turkey's eyes and ears on the ground as peacekeepers in Azerbaijan uh, who can uh, help the rest of NATO understand what Russia's up to. Um, Afghanistan, managing the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan with Turkey keeping its troops, uh, protecting the Karzai International Airport in Kabul. And I think the U.S. is hoping that Turkey will be willing to work together to continue de-escalating tensions in the eastern Mediterranean. To do all those things, though, I think both the U.S. and Turkey have to agree to put the YPG issue to the side for now, um, as well as the S-400 issue for now not worry about that and realize that by building a a new pattern of trust and cooperation in the relationship the two nato allies can go back and and tackle those more difficult issues later well one one major concern that uh, could create some friction in this meeting is uh, President Biden's emphasis in his foreign policy, I mean, around the globe on human rights and democracy. And, you know, we'll recall that during the presidential election campaign, then candidate Biden uh, made some really unorthodox statements about President Erdogan, suggesting he he hoped that Turkey's opposition would oust in a democratic way uh, President Erdogan from office. Uh, that That's really unusual for a presidential candidate to say, and that, that can create a rough spot in this relationship. But um, my guess is if you look at the choreography of this entire trip by, by President Biden, first arriving in England, which for, you know, century has been the U.S.'s closest ally, then going to the G7 summit to show how we stand together with not only our biggest European allies, but also with Japan, with Canada. Uh, Then the NATO summit demonstrating that we are together, uh, all of us in NATO, and then meeting with the leader of NATO's second largest military, uh, uh, you know, I mean, President Erdogan, just before meeting President Putin. I think Biden is saying, this is my message to Putin. The transatlantic community is as strong as ever. I believe more deeply in the transatlantic community and NATO than anything else. And we have to be standing together with Turkey. That's the message I think uh, to to Putin. And that comes from the integration of all of these events that Biden has been participating in for the past few days. And Turkey should be right at the center of it.